What is a magical explanation to the fact that Great Britain elected a Hindu as their prime minister? Well, magical or not, it is rather a social one. Firstly, Great Britain is trying to atone for its colonial debts, so to say. But it's all just on the surface, an act for the public. Just pretend. In the end, as per usual, there is one action and ten goals. Firstly, so that the Indian society would spend some more money, since they became one of the main investors for Great Britain after all the Russian oligarchs left it simply because they were booted out of there. And Great Britain has long been accustomed to living on someone else's dime. That being said, it never really stopped. But ever since it lost its colonial status, it started using various mechanisms in order to lure in bigger money. Since the colony no longer exists, and there are not too many of the money attraction mechanisms left, it reconsidered its point of view and positioned itself facing China and India, trying to entice bigger money of larger oligarchs, and there are plenty of them there. This is the first part of it. But by doing this, it is as if trying to be a kept woman, so to say, of its former colony. But this is just on the surface. But in reality, it isn't so. Later on, poor Sunak, unfortunately, will get blamed for all the misfortunes. This is what he will be left with. Because they still remain the same chauvinistic society as they always were. If you think that they perceive a poor Hindu to be their equal, no, they don't, but they are quite gifted in lying and do so quite virtuously. That is why there is not a lot of a mystical and magical meaning here, but rather financial and social, vile and usual, to promise a lot, to give little, and then to wipe their feet on the one who was promised a lot, a la Anglo-Saxons, typical Anglo-Saxons. They are suffering the same exact agony just like all other systems. They are running on the same Abrahamic operating system, and actually on one of its worst manifestations, Protestantism, which is much closer to Judaism than even Russian Orthodoxy and Catholicism. It was virtually built on the operating system of Judaism, like its Siamese twin, so to say, just in a different packaging. That is why they would suffer on a greater level than all the rest, because they will be hit by a backward wave without mercy or any type of protection. What they are trying to do now is to hide behind someone else's bodies. It's worth trying, as they say. It won't lead to anything positive besides the fact that poor India and a poor Hindu who are possibly holding on to their own illusions, or perhaps they are not, will live and see.